everybody, welcome back to another episode. We're going to be talking about the five things you need to do today if you have lost somebody else's money. Chances are, if you in, are in business, you have lost some of your own money through experimenting and trying some things out there. And if you're in a business that requires you to borrow capital from banks or private investors, uh, angel investors, venture capital, chances are at some point in your career, you are going to have a loss at some point. So the first thing to keep in mind here is to know that it is going to be impossible for you to go your entire career and not have something eventually go wrong. So it's not avoiding it that's the goal. It is what you do about it and how you handle it. And so that's what I want to go over with you today. So the first thing, if you for say have some investors that are in a deal, let's say it's a real estate deal that doesn't work out and you have a loss showing on the books, is you must increase communication. Every body's knee jerk reaction, and I've seen this time and time again, is to sweep it under the rug and hope that before it ends, you can somehow uh, you know, pump some money into the system or kind of get it done or fix it. And the longer you put this off, the bad news to put off, the worse it gets. So the best thing to do is to make sure you increase communication. Now, if you've done this properly, you should be increasing things, I'm sorry, communicating things along the way so that it's not like a total surprise. If you've done the proper communication, then there you know, hopefully should be not some catastrophic event that happens, but this whole kind of the water starts getting hotter and hotter, and, hotter and, and people kind of see the direction that, you know, your deal or whatever is going. But having regular communication is important. But the best thing you can do to preserve your reputation, which is the most important thing in this situation, your reputation and being a fiduciary of other people's money, is to increase your communication. Give more updates more often than you have. The second thing is you need to meet. You need to have phone calls with a meet in person. Do not break communication. It's very unprofessional. And I can't tell you how many people become so ashamed of you know what they've done or embarrassed that they literally can't face uh, the people whose, whose money that they've lost. I've seen this uh, several times where uh, people just go completely dark and just stop communication. That's the worst possible thing. So make sure you're meeting with people, whether that's a phone call or a Zoom call or an in-person meeting, meet with them, explain things. And that leads me to the third thing is create a plan. So it might take some time to do this, but you need to create a plan on how you're going to pay people back. Again, it's not going your entire working career and avoiding a loss. It's going to happen at some point. It's how you handle it and what you do about it that's more important. And a big part of that is creating a plan and presenting that plan to them so that they understand how they're going to be made whole. Number four, you're going to have to make sacrifices. I was on a call uh, actually today uh, with a guy who uh, literally manages billions of dollars. I heard him uh, speak at an event and he was talking about how there was a savings and loan crisis in the 90s and he just did not see this thing going. And he had a lot of money out with from friends and family at the time. He wasn't borrowing, you know, billions of dollars uh, yet. Uh, still, you know, relatively new in his career, but established. And uh, things just kind of broke in the whole real estate system. And he ended up losing a lot of his friends and family's money. One of the things that he said he did was he he made sacrifices. He had made some money at this point, And he first said, you know, I'm going to, you know, give you guys a big part of what I have. So he, he sold off some assets. You know, he used some of his own liquidity to pay back. He was no longer buying the fancy wine bottles when he went out. Um, so he he made sacrifices in his in his life. Uh, you know, I remember one of the things he said he wished he had done sooner was pay back his friends and family uh, much sooner, like a more aggressive plan. Um, and he ended up doing that. He ended up accomplishing that. It took a while, and uh, the people who saw how he handled that situation and how he reacted and his ability to perform, they ended up reinvesting with him. And that led to his future success. So it's it's not all doom and gloom if you have lost somebody's money, but you're going to have to make some sacrifices. And finally, point number five, very, very important that you do this. You must manage your mental health. If you're going through some kind of catastrophe, some kind of financial catastrophe, it is extremely difficult 
to focus because all your brain can do is focus on what's going wrong. It can, you know, your world's crumbling and, you know, people, people take a loss of other people's money very seriously. There's a lot of people that are, uh, you know, famous guys that have, have, have lost people's money that have, you know, committed suicide. You know, you, you, you see that, you know, there's been, you know, financial people that have, uh, you know, lost people's money and, and, and off themselves. It is extremely mentally uh, debilitating. So you have got to be able to manage your mental health. How do you do that? Make sure that you've got an exercise routine, making sure you're getting in the gym, making sure you're trying to get enough sleep, even though you might wake up in the middle of the night, uh, you can't turn your brain off, you know, look for routines to relax. You know, uh, I can tell like when I've had stressful days and I have trouble turning it off, I pour a hot bath. I got this from my wife and I'll sit in that bath and man, it is tough to not unplug from that. One of the activities I do to transition from work to uh, being present with my wife after work each day is I cook dinner. You know, there's something about cooking dinner where you cannot think of anything else. You have to be focused on the food in that present moment. And doing that for 30, 40 minutes gets my mind off work, focuses on uh, the present moment and allows me to transition. Make sure that you focus on what you can control. It's very easy to focus on all the things you can't control. You know, right now, as I'm speaking, we've been through this crazy, uh, you know, year and a half of interest rate rises and nobody can control interest rates, but everybody wants to focus on that. Focus on what you are able to control. That will give you a feeling of uh, you need to stop the negative feedback loop and the negative feedback loop gets stopped when you feel like you have control over a situation and you gain control over a situation by focusing on what you can control. Once you can stop that negative feedback loop and create a new positive feedback loop that lifts you and gives you motivation and gives you energy, that's the key. And it starts with focusing on what you can control. And then finally, a um, big part about managing your mental health, and this will be really tough, is you need to try to find some routine for gratitude expression. Maybe that's journaling. Uh, you know, Maybe it's longer and more... Um, more uh, focused prayer at night before you go to sleep. But being able to look at the things that you are thankful for and draw your attention to those while you're going through this tough time uh, is going to be extremely important. So that's it. Those are the five tips for what needs to happen if you have done a deal and you have lost other people's money. I hope this helps. I know there's a lot of people out there right now, especially in the real estate world with what's going on with the multifamily market and you know interest rates and everything that are dealing with this. So I hope you guys are out there and I hope you are doing well.